Can I get a kiss? Can I? Can you make it last forever? Can you? You said I'm about to go to war. About to. I don't know if I'm going to see you again. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> that's what the audience is. Okay, yeah, okay, 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 all okay, right. That's, yes, enough. <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Cover Level Podcast. I'm Maddie, and I'm here with Yvonne. Brandon. Sam. And this is our Thanksgiving episode. Wait, what? So, hand turkey. I just want to give thanks <laughs> hand turkey. Oh. Hand for all turkey. you guys here. How's this Thanksgiving? Isn't it Christmas next week? It'll be Christmas in a few weeks. We're recording this right next to Christmas. How is this the Thanksgiving episode? We're actually going back in time. I'm going to post oh, this later. Maddie figured out time <laughs> travel. There's some cool stuff you can do with time travel. Oh, that's cool. Too. That's cool. That's cool. But yeah, I just want to like give thanks to all the subscribers that we have across all platforms. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Always thank to you. the positive audience that we have, even in the comments when there's disagreement or you guys are correcting us on something. I really appreciate how it's always really respectful, even if it's like I downright disagree with Sam, because usually it's Sam. Okay, I don't know why you had to call me <laughs> out specifically. <laughs> I mean, it's me sometimes. It's kind of rarely Brandon, but it's usually Sam. It's never Yvonne. No, absolutely Never been not. Yvonne. No. You know what I'm thankful for? <laughs> oh, no. I'm thankful for you guys. I'm thankful for all the people. But I'm also, we could do Get a little bit more discord in the comments. Let's get a little bit more angry. You know, no. let's get more fire. You know what I'm saying? Let's get more passion. He that's said what, that's Christmas. What You're supposed said. to wish for stuff on Christmas. This is Oh, okay. Sorry. So, so I'm we're thankful for the people. I'm yeah. thankful for those trouble starters in the comments. I see a couple of you out there starting trouble. Oh, I'm just bleeping on yeah. the side. <laughs> 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 oh, snap. I guess I could say thank thankful for something. I'm thankful for that one fan that made me. Their profile picture. Oh, that was yeah. funny. Oh. That was funny. Yeah. Uh, and the people Get that are out there. It confused me because I'm like, is that my cousin? Yeah, I was like, is that me? I I looked and I was that's like, that's him. that's me. Brandon has a fan club. And um, got a fan club. thankful for all the people that are like just out there, man. What is your name? Did you guys ever come up with a name? The last time I was here. The Comforters. The yeah, comforters. they're the Comforters. Okay. But there's a little section of them that are Ottomans. There's not a lot. And an even smaller section that are cousins. Cousins? Because. Actually, I think they're... cousins was second in the. I like comforters. Yeah, they, they didn't like Ottomans that much. I, I know there's some Ottomans out there. Yeah. But well, it was. One of them, they're like, when you were in with Sadia and they're commenting, like, oh, you guys were like, oh, there should be a Sam club inside. Right. And so there's Otto Sam's. And then I also saw Sam's Club. I like out of Sam's. <laughs> wow. Wait, wait, wait. Have you guys done a video wearing actual comforters? No. I feel like you should. We wearing, wear blankets in yeah, the like Halloween. Yeah, like blankets. Like, oh, yeah. I mean, we do wear we blankets. Like, when it's okay. very cold. <laughs> we were so tight with blankets. We were just like, <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we should just buy those... Um, those hoodies that are blankets too. Yes. Snuggies. Oh, Why yes. are they so expensive? Let's talk about that. Because they're so I've good. Looked, they're perfect things. I've looked into it. I'm like, I am not paying that for a blanket. How expensive are they? Yeah, actually now I'm curious. Because uh, I'll pay any amount of money for look. those. <laughs> I'll pay. I'll do <laughs> anything. <is> Wait, <laughs> you were just on the fan base or the, the boat where it's like, it's too expensive. Yeah, but now like, I'm back. No, okay. Because have you seen them? Yeah, they look like they're thick. Doesn't Elise have one? Yeah. Yes. She has Sick. two. She has a cheetah How is she affording one. that? <laughs> oh, she didn't buy I think, a single I think one I of got them. one for her for Christmas. Oh, you I guess. bought her one? Yeah. How much money do you have? Where's There's money coming I don't coming have money in. anymore. I exaggerated. Oh, Oh, how much? It's like thirty dollars. Wow. I think they went. I think they went down though. Okay. I'm thinking it's like two hundred dollars. No, or no, it wasn't. That's how much it was when I bought it off Elise and well, gave like it to 50? Elise. But maybe it wasn't ever two hundred dollars. She sold it to you? Yeah, she sold it to me at the store that she works at. I was like, hey, Elise, I'm just gonna buy this for somebody special. Buy it for yeah. two hundred dollars. It wasn't two hundred, but it was like it was under the table. So yeah, I'm like, Elise totally got you. And then I get it was so fifty dollars, and she pocketed one hundred fifty dollars. Sure wow! Sure and got the snuggie. Elise is a menace out here. <laughs> she playing the game, but you know That's the holiday season. It does make me bring us together. Where I'm like, maybe Sam's been saying it for a while, but maybe we should do some live streams where we can really yes. connect with the audience. Yes. 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 And okay. it'll probably be on Patreon. I think we can do the first one. For the link will be available to anybody that follows us on Patreon. And then after that, we'll 
probably just give it to the paid members. But I think it would be nice to just see what it's like. Yeah. Or we can kind of connect with, with you guys more. Because... And we can say I, problematic things to your face. No. <laughs> no. Yeah, I don't no, really no, think no, we no, should no, say no. problematic things at all. Yeah, yeah, not at all. But if they're like directly hitting on you, <laughs> you could be like, we can, we can do a speed dating run. We should do a speed dating. We can do that before the end of the year. That'd be fun. That sounds fun. We should we, do that. Yeah, because we finished filming in like four weeks. So. We could do it on Valentine's Cupid's Day. Cupid's Corner. Valentine's. Wow. Because we got some attractive this subscribers. I'll tell you that right podcast. now. We got some cuties Uh-oh. out there. And he's on the prowl. <laughs> Ladies. Actually, we should put an age single. limit on it, though. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, it should be. Well, what's your age limit for dating? I say 27 and up. You, you don't have a cap? No, I don't have a cap. Oh, uh, twenty-seven shoot. to eighty-five. <laughs> you know, I like older women. You know shoot, what you guys heard him. Okay, so am I the asshole for wanting to break up with my girlfriend after finding out the truth? No. No, I need to know what the truth is. Yeah, so. I need to know the truth. I, thirty male, and my girlfriend, twenty-nine female, have been dating for two years now. I recently took my girlfriend on a getaway weekend, nothing fancy, just a four-day weekend to the Hilton Hotel, going on fun outings she mentioned she wanted to do, like ice skating, dancing, painting, and other fun activities. I'm in love with this beautiful Mm -hmm. woman. Before we started dating, we worked at the same job together, and we've been friends for a long time. I soon grew a crush on her because she was so cool to talk to and be around. I was also friends with her ex-boyfriend. They'd been broken up for a year or two by the time I started liking her. And I wanted to ask the ex-boyfriend, since we were friends, would it be okay if I asked her on a date? <laughs> he said obviously and had no problems with me yeah. and her dating <laughs> one another. Yeah, That's a weird answer. <laughs> <laughs> a day later, I asked her to a drive-in theater movie and she said yes. And after the first movie date, we made the drive-in theater our weekend thing. And we would also go out to eat or go to comic conventions and anywhere we spend time together. One day, I wanted to make it official. So I asked her if she'd like to be my girlfriend. She said she wanted to just remain friends. Although I was hurt, I absolutely was fine with her decision and we still continued our weekend movie nights and outings. But every once in a while, she would show signs that she liked me. She wouldn't let me talk to any other girl. And if I mentioned that a girl was cute, she would say under her breath, she better stay away from my man. So catching these hints, I stopped talking to other girls and didn't bother to ask any girl out, thinking she wanted to go out with me. I asked her to be my girlfriend again, But again, she said she just wanted to be friends. A few weeks later, she would quit the job that we worked at together and find a new job, but we would still hang out on the weekends. One day, I was out running errands and I saw her on a date with someone. I didn't approach them, of course, but I have a rule not to go out to movies or any dates like activities with a girl who has a boyfriend or is dating in respect for the boyfriend. So I stopped inviting her on our weekend hangouts without telling her why. She didn't mind because her attention was on the other guy. I wanted to give her and the guy I thought she was dating their space. Three months passed, us not texting or hanging out. And out of the blue, she texts me asking if we could hang out to catch up and chat. I said yes, of course, and we did after that. We started hanging out, going to the movies together. She would come over to my place almost every day, and we would watch movies there until 12 or 1 a.m. And once again, she would drop hints like she liked me, but I wasn't going to ask her out a third time just in case I was wrong. If she liked me, she would have to ask me out. And after four months, she finally did. I said yes almost immediately, which brings us to... (laughs) Stand up, bro. Chill, bro. (laughs) Stand up. (laughs) Which brings us to her telling me after our weekend getaway that the entire time we were hanging out before we got together, she was dating and sleeping with other guys. And around the time I asked her ex-boyfriend if I could date her, they were still sleeping together while we were going on... Wait. (laughs) Yeah. He said go ahead. I beg your pardon. (laughs) While we were going to the drive-in theaters and spending the weekends together. Even during the months of her coming over to my place and hanging out until the midnight after the three-month gap of us not talking, she was still sleeping with other guys. She told me she didn't want any other girls talking to me. She liked me the entire time we were hanging out. She just wasn't ready for a relationship. But once she went to her new job, she jumped into a four-month relationship. Even the night before she asked me to be her boyfriend, she went on a date and slept with a guy and she was hoping for a second date with him, but he ghosted her. So she told me that she liked that I was nice to her, but wanted to have sex without any attachment, which is why she slept with the other guy while hanging out with me. In the beginning of the relationship, she told me she danced with other guys at nightclubs while out with friends. 
kissed a guy and would get into <sighs> oh random dude's God. cars when she needed a ride. So am I the asshole for wanting to break up with her after finding out she used me and making me her last resort? No. <laughs> Baby, you gotta leave. Oh my god, you gotta oh respect god. for yourself. Exactly. Stand up, young king. <laughs> Stand- <laughs> you dropping your crown, oh bro. Gosh. That's <laughs> yeah. Because at first, I was like, before it got really bad, I was yeah. like, okay, yeah. you guys are just talking. So technically, yes, she can do whatever she wants. Yeah. She can date whoever she, she can. You know, go on dates, sleep with guys if she wants. But then it was like, oh yeah, no, you are just the last resort. She literally, the night before she asked you to be her boyfriend, she wanted to go out, be with somebody else. And. Wait, why did she tell him? I don't know. I, yeah. Is she heartless? Like, I don't because know. Because that's the thing, too. I, I'm on your side where they're like, if it, we weren't dating, we weren't in a relationship, it doesn't, shouldn't matter what the past is. But, because I think this actually happens a lot more often than people think about. You're like. Oh, sure. It didn't seem like we're getting together. It was because people were like, oh, yeah, because I'm doing stuff out here. I just don't want to be in a relationship with you while I'm doing I want an excuse to do that. But her telling him, when someone reveals the truth, you got to be like, hey, you don't care. Like, I'm literally your sixth option right now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not even second. I'm She's like the last so man on the roster. Down. You literally just went on a date and slept with somebody, and then you're like, he ghosted me, so I guess I'll finally <laughs> get out to you. Your option six and a half. And the fact that she was like, Pushing him away from other girls, that's the part that got me. It's like, well, I'm going to do all this stuff, but I don't want you doing it with nobody. That That's the part where I'm like, yeah, you got to break up with her because yeah. she don't. She's territorial. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You got to leave. You're the last man on the roster, sir. Stand, <laughs> like like Brenda says, stand up, okay? <laughs> you have to. <laughs> you 6.5 option. <laughs> the only reason you got that .5 is because dude ghosted her. <laughs> Bro. If, if he had texted her in the middle of <laughs> her asking him out, she's like, oh, never mind. Yeah. No, we're good. Shoot, I got to get my grandma's. <laughs> W.Y.D. Uh, you know what? And on second thought, just recant what I said. Yeah. I, didn't, I didn't say that. You didn't hear anything. Yeah. Um, this sounds like the case of, oh, my God. So transparent moment. <sighs> oh, here we go. <laughs> ah, it was awkward, but I had got dumped because this girl was like, you're more of a guy I wouldn't marry. Not a guy I would date, and that's I was a, like, "That's a disgusting thing." To say. But don't you date to marry? Exactly. <laughs> that's a but, uh, thing yeah, to so say. I was like, I feel like that's kind of a small taste of what he's getting. Plus, just you know, just not being valued as a person. But I feel like also this is like one of those things where it's like, I think we were talking on the cousins cast, and I was like, when I said when I was like dating back then, mm-hmm. and I was like, if you get three texts. You're done. Like, I, I can't text you again. Mm-hmm. And it's like, bro, you asked her out twice. Like, she's not. <laughs> After the second time, she's not going to do anything with you. You are quite literally the last thing she's thinking about. Yeah. yeah. And you're okay with that. You can't be okay with that. Because it sounds like she's not even happy being with you. She just is like, I'd rather be with you than be alone. Yeah. Like, right. this is, that's worse than she settling. Needs to yeah. Be alone. yeah, she doesn't like to be alone at all. Yeah. Yeah. That's worse than settling. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no words. And it's, it's going to happen. Like, it's hard to have. You're always looking for someone who will match you in your energy. Like, I like you just as much as you like me. But it's very frequent where one person likes someone more than the other one. And hopefully the person who's getting liked more doesn't take advantage of that. But she's taking advantage of that. And that's when you're in trouble. Oh. That's girl math. No, she, I shouldn't say that. Let that's me not. not girl math. Like, yeah, like girl math is a good thing. Let's not put our <laughs> girls down. Wait, can you explain what girl math is? <laughs> yeah. If a girl, she gets coffee and she uses a Starbucks app and she puts money in the Starbucks app. That's what I saw. Then it's, it's free. Then it's free <laughs> because she didn't pay money. The, in that moment. Yeah, in that moment, it was free because <laughs> Starbucks. Yeah. <laughs> <And> I'm, like, <laughs> I'm like, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's basically girl math. <laughs> and you get a ten dollar reward you just made ten dollars that's 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 not accurate that's that's not how that works yeah because now in a future purchase you just saved yourself ten dollars if you return an item at the store you just earn money so if you return something and buy something at the same time it was free Free. no 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 because you had to spend (sighs) money the first time 
No, but then the second time it's free because it's no extra money. Or like if you pay for cash with something, it's free because it's not coming out of your bank account. Free. (laughs) (laughs) I'm on a website trying to buy clothes Mm -hmm. and they're like, okay, I'm about to check out. I have $30 worth of clothes, which is literally one shirt nowadays. Maybe some socks. Stuff is so expensive. And they're like, actually, you can get free shipping if you spend $50. I'm going to ring that up to $50 (laughs) so I can get free shipping. That's girl math. Because now I just got a discount (laughs) on my order. (laughs) Free shipping. But you spent more money to do it. Hey, free shipping. There's a benefit. There's a benefit. (laughs) Shipping is expensive. Shipping is expensive. Yeah, but it's probably cheaper. <laughs> if it was thirty dollars order, you might have you, well, you might have spent well, thirty nine dollars. No. Well, okay, so I'll say, let's say thirty five dollars. Yeah, or forty. Yeah, thirty five dollars. Because sometimes shipping is fifteen dollars. So I'm like, I'm gonna find something here worth fifteen dollars, yeah. and then I get free shipping, and then I get free socks. <laughs> Actually, okay, now I'm kind of getting that because I, I do Stitch Fix. I do the clothing thing. And they will give you a discount, a 25% discount if you buy everything. Mm-hmm. So if I see a thing that's <laughs> more, if I like three things, but I'm okay on like the last thing, mm-hmm. and I'm like, if that's the price of the discount, I'm like, well, I might as well just get it because it's free. It's free. With the disc, <laughs> that's I'm girl mapping. You're girl mapping. Okay. Look at that evolution. Thank you, thank you. Wow. <laughs> we that, practiced in yeah. Colorado. That's how you know we need new sound effects when they can get that. That took them months to get, and now it's within a second they get it on the first try. Woo. So here's the update. Thank you everyone for the advice and the thoughts. After a long conversation, I've decided to break up with her. Yes. After asking what (laughs) her thought process is and using and stringing me along for so long, she simply told me she wanted to have her cake and eat it too. Yes. Well, I'm actually like how honest this chick is. Yeah, Yeah. she's brutally honest. She's very honest. Also, I'm no longer friends with her ex-boyfriend. I was asked why I would ask her ex-BF if it would be okay to ask her on a date. He and I were close friends in our early 20s, and out of respect for him, I wanted to make sure it wouldn't be awkward to see his friend and ex together. I also asked my ex, why did she reach out to me after the two months that I gave her and the guy she was dating space? She told me that she was curious on what I was doing too, and she missed hanging out. She stopped talking to that guy she met at her new job months before she reached out. But a few weeks after she reached out to me, she slept with him again. She said she was in fact using me for that type of attention that I was giving her. Most of the guys she slept with tricked her into having sex unprotected or having her buy the hotel rooms. There has been times when she sent a nude to another one of my best friends and wanted to sleep with another friend of mine because she gave her a compliment and she's never been hit on by a woman before. Oh. And she She only asked me out because she was tired of being used and sleeping with random people and knew I wasn't going to use her like they did. But in the end, I couldn't stay with someone who couldn't respect me from the start. Thank you for listening and helping. It sounds like she's addicted to sex. No, she needs help. Yeah. I think she's very low self esteem. Oh, man. Like, that's bad. Yeah. So you think she's okay? Because she did say she's addicted to the attention. Yeah. Like, she needs the attention, and now she's like, oh, this is positive attention. Mm -hmm. Because you can only get tricked into something. Uh, yeah, so, so many, many times. times before you're like, okay, what are you doing? You're <laughs> yeah. you're just like going into the warning signs. Yeah. I feel like that's a, that's like such tricky language to like be on is like you can only get tricked into something a certain amount of times, especially when it comes to like sex. But I think I get what you're saying where yeah, you're just yeah, like Yeah, because I'm not I'm not saying like people can't manipulate you a lot. Right. But I'm like if if you get tricked and you're like, okay, this is what happened, that sign. You get tricked again, you're like, okay, there's signs that they're exhibiting before they do this thing to manipulate me into getting what they want. Mm-hmm. Then at some point you're like, what am I doing that's mm-hmm. allowing this, to these happen. kind of people to even be attracted to mm. me? Yeah. Because I'm like, I'm never going to blame the victim, but I'm also like, we do have to take accountability right. for things that are happening over and over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's not just, everyone's not just evil. Mm-hmm. You also have responsibility to take, like, yeah. I can't be used like this anymore. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, you're like putting something out of this, attracting them to you. Right. Or like, or why are you not, like, why are you not learning from your other mistakes? Yeah. And she does know because she knows that this guy is, is not <laughs> treating her like that. Yeah. yeah. But she's still going for these other guys. 
with mm. sometimes it's hard to walk away. And Actually, I did have a question for you guys. What do you think about him ask? What do you think about you dating friends' exes? That's too messy for yeah, me. Yeah, I think it's too messy. Too messy. Yeah. I mean, I think, of course, there's like exceptions to the rule where if like you absolutely are like a perfect match yeah. and maybe you and that friend aren't very close or you guys are like, I don't see us being friends in the future. But I think if you guys are close, there is something to say of like you do in a way kind of need to be like, I'm going to pick my friend over this relationship because I don't know how long this relationship is going to last. But I can see me being with my friend for a long time. Right. Yeah. And I also think it depends on like how long did that friend date? How long has it been since you guys dated? Because mm -hmm. I'm like, if you dated for like two months and then, but that was like five years ago. That's true. That's different. But then if you date for like five years. Had a kid. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> got married, you know, divorced. That's. You're like, now we're in love. I think the married <laughs> or the kid thing is where it's like, and also like how recent. Yeah. Like if they yeah, recency for sure, if yeah. they just had a kid, if they if that's like your baby mom or baby daddy, something and they just broke up. I think it's oh, my God, do not touch that. Do Run not touch away. that. Yeah, I think it also. Yeah, it just depends on how close that friendship is to like like they were saying, because it's like like in his scenario, I don't think he necessarily had to ask yeah. because it was like they had the friendship established before they became the, him and the guy became friends. right right so it was like he doesn't really have that i feel like in, in that scenario he should have just told him instead of asking mm. and then like he's in his 30s he said they were close when he was in his 20s so yeah, like is this true. early 20s mid 20s are you guys still talking like you're not my friend no more exactly because <laughs> <laughs> yeah, i think i lean closer to brandon where i'm like it's it's the level of friendship with my friend that determines whether I'll say anything. Mm -hmm. Cause if like I'm close, I'm like, Hey man, I, I don't want you to feel bad. But if you're like a, just a friend that I've seen a couple of times, I'm like, I don't, I don't necessarily care whether if they make, if I'm really interested in this person, I don't really care. Yeah. It also I don't depends know if that's on the, bad. the breakup too. Yeah. Like, like the terms of the breakup. Mm -hmm. Like if, if like they, someone like cheated and you're just like, Oh, okay, whatever. Yeah. Like, if anything, like if it, they cheated or your friend cheated, if like they cheated, oh, like God. let's say the if significant cheated, other cheats, why do you want to yeah. <laughs> date them? If the significant <laughs> other cheats, it sounds like and then, <laughs> girl math, girl math. <laughs> Obviously no. Yeah. <laughs> well, he'll treat me better. No. Yeah, but if the significant other cheats and then they're like, "Hey, your friend comes up," is like, "Hey, I'm thinking about," like we connected. It's like. I don't know. Depending on how close you are with that friend, you're probably like, I wouldn't. She cheated on me. Yeah. Or, you know, like, oh, okay. Hey. Like, she cheated on you. <laughs> but not me. Because you suck. <laughs> I'm your friend. You suck. That's why she cheated. And then you're like, bro, she over. cheated, not me. Yeah. Yeah. You're yeah. Like, no, but you, you suck. suck. Yeah. <laughs> you're you the suck. problem. You deserve to get cheated on. You're bad. <laughs> and that's why she rejected your proposal like this next door. Oh! Oh. Smooth. I'm. Cl I swear to God, I'm clicking. I'm not I'm trying to like, give myself vain. a pause. Oh, she was absolutely good. Did she you not see the struggle that my hands? Uh, she was proud of her transition. And like, she applauded herself. Just be honest. <sighs> that wasn't even what was happening. Okay, Sam. <laughs> Am I the asshole for rejecting my boyfriend's proposal because I'd lose my health insurance and alimony? about to get real up in here that is real <laughs> that's oh because <laughs> we talking about cash money yeah. <laughs> do i love you more than this cash money i don't know <laughs> am i ready to cut off my old life and be with you when i my old life is still benefiting me yeah. i feel like you should but i kind of get i'm it. gonna say no <laughs> just because i don't i give you money or love and it's like you're deciding to just one. choose the money. Don't don't say yes. I'm going to say, okay? <laughs> yeah, if you're thinking about it, choose the money. <laughs> I'm going to say it. Yeah. Get the money, okay? Oh, it's expensive. No, like, well, don't cost it's a expensive thing. It's expensive out here, okay? It is expensive out here. Shoot. Inflation going crazy. Stay single for however long your alimony is for, okay? And once that ends, yes. you'll get married. Have your cake and eat it too, and this exactly. one is healthy. Exactly. And if he doesn't understand that, then... The the hey, money, the money gains interest. Love don't gain it. You know what I'm saying? I'm making money on money. Love right? don't cost a thing and it shows. Yeah. Yeah, okay. It Shout out J-Lo. Shout out. I guess. What do you mean I guess? Are, is well, J-Lo canceled now? I, I mean, she's not canceled, but she's not the uh, nicest person. I mean, of course, shout I'm out Selena. 
Salud. I'm fine with JLo not being nice. Okay. You like her. You, you're like, I look at you and you you look mean. No, I think there's some levels of security. Like if someone came out like, Beyonce is the meanest person. Where I'm like, that's fine. She's oh, Beyonce. The, she's she's like, a there's billionaire. A level, yeah, is there a level where you're like, <laughs> she doesn't have to be nice she's to you. She's a billionaire. She doesn't care <laughs> about you. But when it's opinion. like social media stars, you do have to be. You're like a lower level. You're like, you can't be <laughs> mean, mean and be a social media influencer. Well, isn't that how we judge people, though? It's like, okay, it's a question that's asked. How do you treat a waiter at a, at a restaurant? Yeah, yeah. If JLo's not tipping at a restaurant, potentially. Then, then she is bad. Not tipping, and you're that rich. That's crazy. And yeah. still in the tips, too. Can't, can't, oh, wait, was, was that? She's taking the tips. Oh, okay. Yeah, like JLo like, took the tips off other put a tip down. She would go back and be like, that's good money. You're lying. This um, can't be real. So serious. Dang. Well, we have to find that argument. We have to find yes. that. So that's literally <laughs> crazy. Because I'm okay with her being mean or like being curt with you. Like, hey, J Lo, and she's like, I'm fine. Oh with yeah, that. I mean, but if I'm she's stealing money from waiters, that is actually evil. Yeah. And I'm still going to support her, but I'm now not going to be happy about it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So, am I the asshole for rejecting my boyfriend's proposal because I'd lose my health insurance and alimony? I, 44 female, divorced my ex-husband, 47 male, two years ago, and I've been dating my boyfriend, 45 male, since. No cheating. My ex and I were fighting a lot, but the divorce was less litigious than expected. My ex-husband, James, and I were married for 21 years in the state of Massachusetts. I, as his ex-spouse, was able to stay on his group health insurance in addition, the judge ordered that since I stayed home to raise our four kids, 21 male, 19 female, 18 male, and 16 male, that I get alimony for life. What? Or, Whoa. Or until, I was not expecting that. Or until only I, not my ex, remarried. In terms of health insurance, I'd lose it if either James or I remarried. However, James has been very open about the fact that he hates the idea of marriage slash marrying again even more than he hates me. Still, he be covered... <laughs> Still, he'd be covered under his health insurance policy. His exact words were, luckily for you, it's not emotionally or financially cost effective for me to marry just to get you off my health insurance. For the entire length of our marriage, part of the reason I didn't work is because my ex is a doctor and after doing calculations, we realized I'd never make enough to get even close to covering the child care costs for four kids. I checked in and saw that if I continued my administrative job, I'd be making $17 an hour and I have no chance of making that even now. My boyfriend and I are very much in love. In many ways, I'd wish I met him first. He's empathetic, and unlike my ex, he values life balance. Instead of running between a private practice and a psych ward at a county hospital to work 24-7. However, my boyfriend and I don't live together, and besides small presents to each other, we pay for everything ourselves. Things were good, but my boyfriend changed after I had a pregnancy scare. He said that if I got pregnant again, he wants us to be living under one roof, and not like two divorced parents. So he proposed. I was upset and had to turn it down because <laughs> love aside, this was my health insurance and only source of income on the line. I didn't understand why my boyfriend was so upset and didn't understand. He's a case manager at a nonprofit and we'd be living on half the income I'm currently living on if we take out child support. And that is bound to create tension on both sides. Am I the asshole? Just wanted to add, we cannot move in together either, as the archaic family court laws would see that and assume that my boyfriend and I would be sharing finances or that I in some way would be supported by my boyfriend by the fact of us moving in together. If I could move in together with him and not lose my benefits, we'd be doing so. <clears throat> oh, my days. Yeah. Oh, my days. I like that. Yeah, so reading that, I was just like, I kind of agree with Yvonne where I'm like, is there a way where you can have your cake and eat it too? Especially where that is only her income because she was taking that time to raise the kids and that is a job, but she's now in a way getting paid for that job or the job that she did before. Um, but I can also see where it's like, if I do want to completely cut ties with my husband and move on with you in our future life, if we were to have kids, I don't think they want kids, but just in case, it's like it makes sense that I would cut ties with everything with the husband as much as I can because we have kids together. So obviously we're going to see each other. But and then becoming dependent on herself, because I feel like it's nice now, but it would cause a lot of stress of just you never know, because people were saying in the comments, um, even though they say it's for life, the court can easily be like, yeah, no, you're you're done, actually. 
they can they can yeah, uh, they can the, revoke it just as easily as they petitions. do it if the husband can prove that like listen I've given her enough alimony my income has changed. Mm-hmm. Um, the for life thing is kind of crazy. Yeah, yeah. that for life thing. I've That's never heard of that. I never heard of that. Either. I didn't know that was a thing. Because on one side. I'm not I'm not mad at her even thinking about it because yeah, this is a big financial change. But I'm like, if you do want to move on with your life and you wanna if you do love this person and you do see yourself married, oh yeah, the, there's a security there and all that, and but then there's a love on the other side. I feel like especially with the ages of the kids, the kids are almost The youngest is sixteen. Yeah, so it's like there's a couple more years left or maybe four or five that Maybe it's time you're like, I do love my boyfriend. This is, but actually just thinking about it, I'm like, probably not. <laughs> you're thinking about it. Like it should be just a cut and dry. Like I love this guy. I'll just take whatever consequences go with that. But if you're like, but the money good, yeah. you probably shouldn't. It's, it's going to hurt your relationship. Yeah. I feel like she's gone to like a cus- a, cus- a custom of the life she's living with the money from her ex that mm-hmm. like, that's going to be such a big change. And she's probably always going to compare the life she had if she decides to marry this guy. Right. Because he's making less money. She's going to have to start working again. Not going to be, yeah. Yeah, they said if mm-hmm. if she is out of the alimony, then they're going to live off of half of what she lives off of now for yeah. two people. Well, she she's got to get a job then. Yeah. The, you said the youngest is 16? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, there's, I see multiple layers to it too. So I don't think for one, I don't think she talked to the boyfriend about the scenario for his reaction alone. Cause he's like, what, what the heck? Like we, we can make it work. But it's like, if you talk about it in depth, I feel like he would kind of understand where she was coming from. She's not making a decision based off of comfortability. It, it seems like she's also making a decision based off her kids. She's taking care of all those kids. She's like, if I lose this alimony, get a potential job, it won't be enough to support those kids. But at the same time, if the youngest is 16, like those kids ain't kids no more. Like how much money do you need to? Well, is there still child support too? Because yeah, there's, like there's different, yeah. there's alimony is different. Like, yeah. are, is she also getting child support yeah. for the kids? Probably, but also the, there's the husband too. The husband can support. The sixteen, right? Plus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's not like he can't go and leave. Them. Hopefully, he wouldn't just leave them. Yeah. But I, I feel like, I feel like he did have a good understanding. He was just like, "Wait, you're not going to marry me, and you're gonna, you're gonna stay for the health insurance and the alimony." Mm-hmm. You know, actually and I think like he was shocked by that. Yeah. I think he has the right to get mad about that. Yeah. I think that's something that's a re- you like. Yeah. All oh, the money's that important. Because it's like, how do you even go forward with that relationship? Because it's like. How long are you going to be living um, in separate places? Because then that's a waste right. of money yeah. on its own. Like, Especially if the alimony is forever. You're like, so is this our relationship? Are we like this forever? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. So then it's like, why are you then dating? If you want the alimony, why, be, why are you wasting people's time, lady? Mm-hmm. Or, yeah, maybe find someone who wants what you want. Like, yeah. Hey, we're going to be separate. I'm going to be getting papered up over here. We're going to be dating, and that's it. That's it. Don't expect a marriage out of me. So there's a top comment here. It was kind of a little bit of what I mentioned earlier. Not your attorney, but you should be aware that your ex-husband can still file for a modification when he reaches retirement age, regardless of the fact that you were married for 20-plus years. You might not be set for life. I'd make sure you're saving for your own retirement funds too. Look up Pierce versus Pierce. And somebody else said, yes, I have a sister-in-law that was married to a doctor. Since she gave up her nursing career to raise their children, the divorce was awarded alimony for life. It was an obscenely nice chunk of change every month, way more than you need to live on. She could have easily lived on a third every month and banked the other two thirds. Her family highly recommended she do so. For life doesn't necessarily mean for life. However, she refused to believe that alimony could get cut off again because the judge said it was for life. She never saved a dime during the 29 years that she collected alimony. She never held a job. She blew through that alimony every years. month. Good Lord. Oh, I'd be pissed if I was a husband. Next thing you know, her ex gets sick and no longer can pull in that kind of income. 
He petitions the court to have the alimony decree reviewed. And guess what? The judge decided that after 29 years of alimony, that 29 years of alimony was enough. He gave her one more year of alimony and ordered her to find a new job. And then she was cut off. She hadn't worked for years. She had no skills. <sighs> she had her nursing degree still, but would need recertification classes, which she did not want to do. As of now, she's poor. She lost her house because she couldn't afford the note, insurance, taxes, and maintenance. She has a dinky job that barely pays her living expenses, and she scrabbles all the time now. Alimony for life does not mean for life. What happens if OP's ex dies? Does she expect his estate will continue to pay her alimony? It will. That was a richest of rags. Yeah. yeah. Good Lord. I guess I hope our writer is saving. Yeah, because that's what I think about is like, what you guys were discussing, if you want to be with your new boyfriend, you should think about eventually being like, okay, I, I can't be dependent on this alimony right. anymore. Mm -hmm. And even in general for yourself, it's like, what am I going to do once the alimony isn't there anymore? Right. Because I would always feel that on my shoulders where I'm like, this is nice. Yes. But I'm dependent on somebody else. Yeah. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So it's like, eventually, I'm going to have to become independent again. And if I don't have any skills because I haven't been working for so long... It's like, well, then how do you transition into that? Yeah. So I think there's like a lot of things she needs to think about. And like once, so her youngest is 16. So she's went from focusing on four to one. What are you doing with the rest of your time? You know, get a job where you can easily work. Get some skill. Like do something with your life instead of just relying. Yeah, learning, a a, even learning a Don't skill. Don't rely yeah. Just in case. Yeah. Just to stay busy. Yeah. <laughs> So having that full time, like taking care of those kids was great, but it's like they're not kids anymore. No. He's gonna drive pretty soon. He's, a, he's he not gonna need be you. Driving. Yeah, he's not gonna need you. Twenty nine years of alimony. That's wild. Wow, I'm Woo. still yeah, dang. And because I'm like, I definitely, I feel like I was against alimony before, but like, no, I totally get alimony. If you're if you were dedicated your whole marriage to taking care of the kids, putting your life in the back back burners and not be able to develop develop your skills your husband should or actually either side either side should pay for the other person to be like hey this is a shock back into the real world but 29 years seems like a very like your job is just that you were married you used oh, to be married to this person and your new job is hey i was married to you so i'm gonna like if i was the husband i'd be so mad I'm like, be why furious. am i still paying you well however long they had the kids because they might have been divorced and still had young kids that's so yeah, true. until you're raising the kids, but even then, yeah. Afterwards. That's what I'm like. Once the kids are out, I'm like, I feel like that's where it should stop. Should, yeah, and then, then I think child support. In yeah. a perfect world, there should be like a transition period where it's like, okay, just so you know, in five years the alimony is gonna be done. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, so you, you need got to start five years to figure out what to do. And yeah. just like constant reminders. Listen, you're gonna go from having all of your monthly expenses paid for plus that. Mm. That sounds I mean, like a serious life change. Like our next story. story. <laughs> I missed it. <laughs> Am I the asshole for telling my fiance that if he expects me to contribute 50 50, we have to make some serious lifestyle changes? No. No. I don't think so either. No. I'm like, see, yeah, what, yeah, like. <laughs> <laughs> what are you going to say? <laughs> my 26 female fiance, 26 male, sat me down yesterday and gave me a long talk about how he feels like I don't contribute enough to the household particularly in the financial sense. I was a bit caught off guard by this, but was willing to hear him out. Since he wasn't wrong, he makes a lot more than I do, and we always split the bills accordingly, which ends up being about 80% him. I asked him what he wanted me to pay, and he was adamant about being 50-50. I asked if everything was okay with his job or if he needed to take fewer hours, and he wouldn't answer me. I honestly wouldn't have gotten upset if there seemed to be an actual reason behind it, but he just said that he'd been thinking about it a lot over and over again, and every time I asked what brought him to this conclusion, he, uh, like what was going on, he would just say, this is how it's going to be. Take it or leave it. Those were his exact words mm. in response to literally everything I said. Full shutdown, no explanations. I told him that was fine. I'll take it. And then asked if he made a Zillow account yet or expected me to. He looked confused and asked why we would need a Zillow account. I explained that there was no way that I could afford half of the rent at our current place so we'll probably have to move into a one-bedroom apartment. He got mad and asked why I didn't have savings. I told him that I do, 
but I'm not paying rent out of my savings because that's a terrible and unsustainable idea. Yeah. I also began to go over what our new food budget would be, our new entertainment budget, and that we'd probably have to sell the cars and get one less expensive one because I can't afford half of the payments on an Audi and a Land Rover. Jeez. Then I explained the date nights would probably have to be reduced too, and we could still do like Buffalo Wild Wings or something, but I prefer Ew. Thursday nights because you get two orders of boneless wings hey, for you one. Say that money. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, if he wants me to pay half, we're living within my means, not his anymore. Oh. Mm. He kind of agreed to it, but since then, he's been incredibly angry. He's not saying or doing anything, but it's like he's walking around the house in this cloud of pissed offness. I sent him six Zillow listings, all of which he's calling uninhabitable for various reasons, some of which I think were valid, others I disagree with. He's now saying that I'm being unfair and manipulative. He tried to come to me with a serious concern about our relationship, and I'm making it impossible for him to talk to me and bulldozing over him. Am I the asshole? Wait, are they married or are they dating? I think that's fair. I think it's dependent on what you want to do. I know there's, let's say if a man and a woman, well, it's just it's two people. Mm -hmm. There might be somebody who's like, I want to be taken care of and I want you to pay for everything. Yeah. Or you make more money than it makes. It makes sense for it to be like you pay 80 percent. I pay 20 percent. Right. But if one of the partners is asking, OK, I want to do 50 50. It definitely makes sense and it's the smartest thing to do to be like, okay, we're going to base it off of the lesser person's income. Right, right. Because 50-50 is not going to work <laughs> for somebody that has two completely opposite ends of income spectrum. Yeah, because your 50 is like 20% of your paycheck and my 50 is like 95% yeah. of your paycheck. Wow. I wonder what this boyfriend's doing. But then also I wonder, like, did she move in with him? Because it sounds like he's accustomed to a certain, I mean, they're both accustomed to a certain life, but more him than her. Yeah. So then it's like, did she move in with him? And then it just kind of grew on, grew from there compared to like them getting their own place together. But then I, I guess that doesn't matter because if you got your own place together, you're still considering his income and not 50 50 at the time. Yeah. I feel like they got a house together. Yeah. But yeah, they just did it before Zillow, they got married. Do you use Zillow for apartments? Like, no. I think I they know. do have Zillow. Like for rentals? You can see if, yeah. Or they're buying? Mm -hmm. I think you oh. can see rentals oh, okay. on Zillow. Okay. I think you can see a lot of stuff. Apartments.com, obviously, but I've seen... There was one place I was looking at for apartments, but if you can do it for apartments and homes. So I want to say maybe mm -hmm. Zillow. Okay. Or maybe something like that. Because yeah. I, I am curious about the beginning of it, like however they moved in. They obviously decided at that time, like, oh, you're going to do 80 and I'm going to do 20. Mm -hmm. So I am curious. They're asking the right questions. What changed that now we're going to 50 fit? There is something yeah. weird. Did um, he talk to someone like, you're paying 80% and they're only paying 20? Yeah. What are you doing, man? That's, bro, that's crazy. Like, I feel like something like that had to have happened for him to be like, yeah, we're doing 50 50 now. And he's yeah. just shut down about it. Yeah. He won't explain why. Yeah, maybe he or is just math. like pent up. He like has tried to keep it in all, but now it's like, well, let me change this before we're fully married, and then actually, yeah. But you have to realize there's consequences with doing that, yeah. and I feel like they are giving like this is what it is. I can't afford to live like we're doing now if I got to pay more. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he's still going along with it though that that's what's getting me too. Like she's like, okay, I'll look at these little listings yeah. and. He's like, yeah, no, that won't work. That won't work. Yeah. He's like, bro, just, just tell her. Sit down and do the math. Like, yeah. it's, it's it wasn't gonna work from the get go. Mm -hmm. <sighs> well, because I asked if they're married or not, because I'm like, in my perfect brain, or not perfect brain, I'm a perfect brain. In my brain, in the perfect world, when we're married, I'm like, we're just all like pulling from one pool. Right. It doesn't matter if I'm bringing eighty percent or you're bringing twenty percent. It's like one pool, so it's our money. Mm -hmm. And if we do like have separate accounts for like special things, it's coming from that main account. So it doesn't matter. There is no fifty fifty. It's just like this main thing. That's where the money comes from. But yeah, them being fiancés and they're still kind of single people coming together. It's, you have to make that compromise and be like, we have to live by the poor person's means if this is what we're doing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that brings me um, a question. Okay, so like when you guys think about marriage, is it that 
you the couple has one account, joint account, or do they have two separate accounts and then one joint account? Hot take. Fun I money. like the I like the, the two separate yeah, accounts. Yeah, me too. And then yeah, one account. that's yeah. That's but how my parents. I do like too. all the money going into the main account, and but then, then how do you divvy it up? But then we agree on an amount that goes to the separate. Okay, I would do the the opposite. Like we agree on how much is going to go in the main account. Yeah, you make sure bills are covered. Yeah, and then there's maybe like a little pool for like date nights yeah. or trips or something. Fun money. The only reason I don't like that is because in this situation specifically, like the eighty twenty, it's gonna be like deeper, yeah, you go like yeah. you get a little amount. And you're like, he's like, well, you got to pay this much <laughs> amount. And you're like, I can't afford. It. I have nothing in my account. Yeah, so I'm that's like, true. no, we're all together, and then we just get our fun money yeah. later. Yeah, that's true. Because I th- I don't think there ever is a way if you're not putting them all together you can never split it evenly unless you guys are making the same amount of money. Yeah, if someone's making true. more amount of money, know. someone has to pay more. And I do agree with that. If I'm making hundred thousand dollars, you're making sixty thousand dollars. We should not be splitting it evenly. That's not fair to you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So update. 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 We're divorced. <laughs> hey everyone, this got way bigger than intended. So I figured a follow up was owed. So last time I posted was Monday. Monday as a whole was spent through sorting how I felt and what to do next. There was a lot of silence and a lot of anger and a lot of Reddit advice, some of which I found very insightful, some of which was less so. (laughs) Also, some people think I made this all up as part of a viral marketing sponsorship between Buffalo Wild Wings, Audi, (laughs) and Zillow. You've got Range Rover. (laughs) That was some product placement. (laughs) (laughs) Which honestly... Would solve the money problems I'm in. <laughs> but, yeah, just like, hey. <laughs> but alas, that's not the case. On Tuesday, after I got home from work, I sort of walked up to him on the elliptical and explained as calmly as I could that I had questions. <laughs> A house elliptical? <laughs> All right. I mean, they have a Land Rover and an Audi. Of course, yeah. they're, they're going to have a house rich. elliptical. They're going to have a home gym. Rolling in money. She didn't have to like flex though. Yeah, like, right. That's what I'm flex saying. Flex the entire story. <laughs> I was only mad when oh, I yeah. found out they had a home gym. Yeah. That's Brenda and I were like, Peloton, Peloton <laughs> too. Not the Peloton. Peloton. <laughs> um, and explained as calmly as I could that I had questions, and if he actually wanted to marry me, then he needed to be willing to answer them. I asked if he thought that I was a gold digger, yes or no. He said yes. I told him I wasn't willing to be in a relationship where I had to prove myself by sacrificing any sort of stability that led to a bit of a screaming match and eventually a confession. So it turns out that we can't afford anything we have right now. We're in serious credit card debt. Oh, oh, I didn't see that. The cars are both on the verge of being repossessed. And I didn't know any of this. Oh. He's been cutting quarters and actual necessities, including psychiatric meds for him, that in combination with some comments from family, what led him flip? to some pretty dark places. My fiance had a full breakdown and apologized for calling me a gold digger, which was nice to hear. But the whole, but this whole thing had me pretty shaken up and I went to stay with a friend for a little bit. Yesterday, my fiance and I did, in fact, go to Buffalo Wild Wings and get the two for one boneless. No, this is a product placement. <laughs> yeah. I do know it. Yeah, this has to be fake. There's no one no eats way. at B Dubs. <laughs> <laughs> we talked a lot. I'm still writing fiance for now, and I really hope we can work through all of this. We talked about how to sell the cars. We don't particularly have a choice at this point, and about my income, his income, and the sort of life we want to have. If we do stay together, we'll be changing how we live a lot. Oh, yeah. You have to. We need to get out of debt. We need to get on our feet. I know some people are going to say I'm being dumb for not immediately dropping all contact and giving up the relationship, but I can't do that. I can't look at a guy that I love who went off his meds to try and make a good life for me and think he's not worth sticking around for, or at least trying. I can. I beg your pardon? I can. I, what? Like, how did it get this bad? Dude, what the flip? Yeah. Like, I don't know what the future looks like at all anymore. <laughs> the wedding is very postponed at this moment. Oh, thank you. You can't Sorry, afford this, it. <laughs> like, you can't afford it. Dang. <laughs> Sorry this wasn't a more fun update. And then top fun. comment, watch your credit like a hawk, home slice. Home yeah. slice? Credit New karma. Slash. <laughs> get that credit karma. Yes. Man. Things you should do before you get engaged, <laughs> I think. Get a credit report. Check out the bank accounts. Watch it like a hawk. Home slice. Yeah, get an STD panel. A full <laughs> working. Actually, like, yes. These are all things you need to do before you get engaged because you're like, I need to know what kind of person you, you are. are. 
And that credit report is going to show. It's going to reveal everything yes. about you. And with the STD, continue to get it. Just because yeah, you're you married should. doesn't mean you they're faithful. Okay, it. protect yourself. Sadly, yeah, yeah. Wow, oh, well, that was such that a was I didn't see that coming. I didn't see that. He couldn't afford. It. <laughs> a what? So, like, are these credit cards also in her name or his name? They're probably in his name. He didn't, she not didn't know about yet. it. Yeah. yeah, she didn't know about it. Dang. But imagine they got married before she found out about all this. What's that one saying? Keeping with the um, Joneses? Is it yeah, keeping, keeping, yeah. keeping up with the Joneses. Yeah, yeah. that's that's what it's giving. want to know how, how much they sell in that home gym for, though, because I know Dang. they got some stuff for the cheap. They got to sell for the cheap. They, 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 they ain't got no money. <laughs> they backs against the walls. I'm just trying to help them out. Brandon's you know? taking advantage <laughs> of the situation. <laughs> He wow. said, so that elliptical, you got a Stairmaster or yeah. what? <laughs> I do weight section looking like. I got so many questions, right? Because like if his mental health is being affected, how are you not realizing and living with him? And he's your fiance. Oof. Maybe the anger anger was Yo, <laughs> that could be a little anger. byproduct. Yeah. And I mean, they probably both have full time jobs. Yeah. He probably works longer than that because she was saying, do you need to take less hours at work? Mm. So he's probably gone a majority of the time. Yeah. And yeah man that's got to be so stressful though living up a facade and your fiance doesn't yeah. know about it and he's like yeah we need to go 50 50 like he's drunk he's <laughs> yeah. like we gotta go 50 50 i don't have money <laughs> i can't afford this he's like, thinking it's 50 50 or nothing yeah. no it's like no it's 50 50 or no. nothing, <laughs> <laughs> it's <really> nothing. <laughs> we will lose this house we'll be he's Poor actually like can we go um 2080 <laughs> yeah i can't afford that I can't. me being the 20 <laughs> Just on a five hundred dollar dinner date, and he's just like, I can't do it. Like this next story. Oh! <laughs> Shout out Thanksgiving. Thank All about to smash. Mm -hmm. Turkey's dry and overrated. Oh my Whoa. god! <laughs> Thanksgiving slander. Wait, are you only eating white meat? Yeah, that's that's the only way. What? I mean, dark meat. <laughs> Why did he say it like that? He's like, wait, are you only eating eating white, white meat? meat? Well, yeah, because it's dry. Yeah, the white dark meat meat's fire. Dark meat, dark meat turkey goes Especially crazy. Especially if it's I'm so smoked, confused. Is right? it the inside white or the, the legs, breast is white? The breast is white. The legs are the legs dark. are dark. And something. Wait, else have is you dark. never had dark meat? Is That's, the thigh dark know. too? The thighs are dark. So, so oh. the thighs and the legs oh. are dark. Dang. You never had dark meat turkey. I don't think so. Yeah. That's so why you hate on any turkey, on any turkey, there's two different types of meat. So the 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 leg and the thigh is the darker meat, and then the breast is the white meat. Oh, so yeah. Usually when I see turkey, I'm going for the dark meat. Mm -hmm. Go for the dark. Because it oh. keeps the plate. It keeps yeah. the moisture in better. I never knew that. Wow, look at me. Eighteen. Wait, 20, I was gonna say eighteen years. She I'm said, living twenty five years. <laughs> I was like, eighteen years. She stopped. She went back in time. <laughs> She's that makes 18 sense. Now? <laughs> Okay, so am I the asshole for blocking a man after he bought me a $500, $500 plus dinner? Blocking him? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What happened on this dinner? Well, if he had some like, I paid this much money, so you owe me something. Oh, then, ah. Yeah. yeah. You, block. Can block him. you can block him for sure. Which I feel like that's what it is. It seems so like say, that's yeah, what it has. Yeah, to you're cool. Okay. Giving. Am I the asshole for blocking a man after he bought me a $500 <sighs> plus dinner? I was invited on a date and he asked me, what's your favorite restaurant? My honest answer was my favorite place is a bit much for a first date, but I still did tell him about it because, well, I thought he was cool and I truly love the place. So I tell everyone about it. So they'll go. I want them to stay booked and busy so they'll open so I can keep going. I said that for a first date, we could go somewhere more casual, like this cool Mexican spot that has over 300 tequilas in their tequila library, but it's still pretty cheap when it Where's comes to food. Where's this at? I know. <laughs> what in the world? I want to go. <laughs> um, amazing tacos with handmade tortillas. But ultimately, he wanted to pick. I was trying to be helpful and make suggestions. Also, we live in different parts of a big city with terrible traffic that's extremely car dependent. My favorite restaurant, on the other hand, is about $500 for two people. I take myself there sometimes after personal accomplishments or just a treat. Sometimes I go just to have one of their James Beard award-winning cocktails. LOL, bougie as fuck, I know. <laughs> and some apps. Well, this gentleman, upon researching the menu, decides that this is where he wants to take me for dinner. He really wanted to try it out. Of course, I agree. Despite the price point, it's actually a pretty chill spot. You don't even have to dress up. And it's a great date spot. Even a first date spot if you're in a different tax bracket than me. But as much as I knew, he could be. For me... 
First dates are usually inexpensive considering you don't know the person and the conversation is much more important than the meal. We have apps, we have drinks, we have dinner, we have conversation, we have dessert. We had a good time from my perspective. This means we ran up a serious bill. Pay time comes, we do the check dance, sort of. Of course, since it's the first date, I say, oh, separate checks. Not that I don't pay on subsequent dates. I just mean the first time when you don't know if a guy thinks if a woman pays, that means she's uninterested. He also says separate checks. So cool, we're on the same page. Basically at the same time, as in our words, overlapped. I won't lie, I hesitated and said it after he was saying it because he asked me out and also insisted we went there after he read the menu and really wanted to try the food. I really want to describe the menu items, but it's one of those places that's so specific and also the chef uses what's local and in season, so I'd kind of be revealing too much info. So our separate checks Tell come. Us. Tell it's us a the restaurant. restaurant right like now. it's not your secret. Yeah, what are you Why doing? are you gatekeeping? Yeah. <laughs> you want them to say booked and busy. Tell us the name of the restaurant. <laughs> exactly. <Right now. laughs> so our separate checks come. No problem by me. I put my card down. He puts his down. When our server comes back to grab them, he takes my card gives her both the checks and says he's covering it all. And he looks at my card intensely. It's not that I think he's some number savant where he's stealing my info by looking at my card, though I have bartended for years and a dumbass slash genius who worked with me could memorize card numbers at a glance and then use them for online purchases till he finally got a felony. Oh, <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> and it wasn't even his little comment, oh, now I finally know your last name, which of course I wouldn't tell him before. It was the game that he played. He invited me on a date, so I assumed he was paying. He then said separate checks, making sure I knew I was paying for myself. But then he grabbed the checks and said he's paying for it all, annoying the server and me. I feel like this was a real shit test to see if, if I would pony up to the $250 each restaurant bill. I felt like he was checking to see if I was a gold digger or something, mm -hmm. even though I literally told him we shouldn't go there on the first date. The place I suggested would have had tacos and tequila flights Oof. for less than $50. Let's go. Tell us the name Tell of that, that restaurant. <laughs> so after I said thank you for dinner, I got on my Uber, left, blocked him. I told one of my friends a story today laughing, and they told me I was actually the villain in the story. I'm just not into the shittiness or games. Am I the asshole? And then there's a little edit afterwards. Nah. I don't think so either. That's indicative of what kind of person he is. He, he is. tells you on the first date, believe him. Yeah. Deuces. Facts. <laughs> I agree. Like, yeah. Why, why do all that? He probably thought it was, oh, that is disgusting. I hate that. Yeah. Because she was like, listen, there's a place that we can. Because it's, uh, you, you've talked about this before, Sam, where you're like, you know, I don't know. Or maybe you mentioned that you don't necessarily always want to be paying for the first date, but when you take someone out, no, it's kind of like will. an obligation. I will always pay for the first oh, date. Oh, okay. I get iffy on like subsequent dates. I'm like, is this is a thing where I'm always paying for meals? But even both. she has an understanding where yeah. she was like, I know on a first date, it's not going to be that expensive because yeah. it matters more about getting to know the person. So she's not even trying to be like, let's go on this expensive right. place. She even came up with the place that was cheaper, but it was very cool. Again, please tell us the name. Yes. I want to know. Tell us right now. tequilas? I'll move there. Please. Wherever it is. Yvonne will move there. She's Yvonne trying to will move. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she will go. Get me out of here. Please. Um, <laughs> not the whisper. Please. Help me. She is being held captive. I think she's being <laughs> held captive in this basement. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> um, but, yeah, no, I don't, I don't think she's the asshole for it. I think it's kind of weird that her, she must have left out details or something for her friend to be like, you sound horrible. Yeah. 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 What makes her the villain? I mean, I like I, blo getting blocking someone, it's like, just talk to them. Yeah. I think, yeah, them. definitely just be like, hey, it's not going to work out. Yeah. But Ask I do them think, why they did all of that. I do think the type of person he is, though, he's going to send that long paragraph. Oh, so after I pay, it's like, okay. Gaslighting mm -hmm. 101. I feel like he was going to send a whole thing about yeah. pay all his money to go on a date with me. And the moment that he pays, it's that's when you block. But also, it was weird how he took her card. Like, why mm -hmm. are you touching my card? Yeah. I can see in his head perfect scenario where he's like, I'm just being funny and cute and like cheeky. But I'm like, none of that really reads. That doesn't come off like that in any way. He. It's either he's a bad guy and he was, he memorized your card. <laughs> Photo or he thought it was funny, but it just wasn't the right, it was not playing in any way. Because she mentioned she didn't give him her last name. And so that's Which how he was like, oh, now I know your last name. It's like, 
That's okay. a little strange. You sound weird. I'm going to know the name that's going to change when we get married. You're going to have my last name. Mm. Oh, my God. Ick. <laughs> He's like, actually, I'm trying to figure out what name I'm going to take when we get married. Because oh. I'm trying to get rid of my name. Yo, let's get rid of it. <laughs> I got felonies on the way. <laughs> He's like, my last <laughs> name's way. Fokker. Yeah. So. <laughs> I'm so broke right now. I need someone to pay 80 so I can pick 20. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my ex fiance, she she put me in a rut. I chose to do it myself. Yeah. But, uh, it's, it's her I'm fault. blaming her at this, this point. This guy. <laughs> He's out here. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't the see, same guy. She can't oh. be the asshole. Be, the only thing maybe is like not not bringing up the expensive place, but she did preface it with like it is expensive. We could actually go to this place, <laughs> but maybe not bring it up at all. Just like just bring up the taco place. Yeah, but he was like. What do you do when they say, what's your favorite place? And you're like, oh, well, my favorite place is not a first date place, potentially. Because he was like, what's your favorite place? Do you just lie and say something else? or Because I feel like she did what she could. She was like, I'm going to be honest and tell yeah. you my favorite place. But then we don't. Yeah. But here's a suggestion for a first date. Yeah. Sometimes maybe lying is good. You can lie. True. Because then it, not to stick up for him, but there's that extra pressure of like, let's do what she really wants to do. Not no, but she gave him an out. That's the yeah. thing. Yeah, she said she Mexican was like was... being understanding. Like I really liked how she approached the whole thing. She gave him an out. Like this taco place was also really good. It's cheaper. Yeah, I don't need to impress you that much. On the, I'm not trying to impress you. I'm trying to get you to know me, and I get to know you. I'm not. Yeah. I don't want to look bad in front of you, but I also. I don't need to like pull out all the stops. Yeah, because I mean, it sounds like she can afford this five hundred dollar place herself. Well, so she was saying she that a, she'll just go there for not her tax bracket, so it's not like she can yeah. seemingly go there all the time. <laughs> She's spending her life. Yeah, she yeah. goes there for like treats for herself, <laughs> yeah, so it's like yeah. two fifty. Uh, yeah, Which for is, a treat. That's so wild. Is there a restaurant where if they took you out on the first day? You're like, if they took you to Cheesecake Factory, would you be like? Mm. I, I saw that Cheesecake video. Cheesecake Factory, actually, and it's making me reconsider going to eat at Cheesecake Factory. Why? Because I usually was like, no, but I only got the chicken fettuccine Alfredo yeah, with the gross, cold, grilled, frozen chicken. And then I got the flatbread pepperoni pizza. But I'm like, maybe I need to try what all these people who are raving about uh, Cheesecake Factory are eating. And so I'm like, OK, I mean, I guess somebody was saying like the salmon's really good there or something. I don't think Cheesecake Factory is amazing. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's the greatest restaurant ever. I think it's fine. I think people trying to build it up or tear it down. It's not horrible and it's not great. Wait, wait, wait. I thought the girl was like, don't take me Cheesecake Factory. Yeah, because she she was was. like, it's not. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, this was a different girl. Sorry. Okay, okay. Because she was saying like, it's it's not to her standard Cheesecake Factory. Because it's a chain restaurant. It is like a more expensive chain restaurant, but it's still a chain restaurant. It's like taking her to. But everything is a chain restaurant, honestly. Well, yeah. In theory. So I'm like, what does it matter? I think it's better than some. Yeah. I mean, I I don't know. I think a YouTube video I watch where it's like, depending on where you live, Cheesecake Factory can be the ip spot, right? Right. But like if you live in like Atlanta and like all these other restaurants, it's going to be the... Then bear. you are going to go to Cheesecake Factory because you're never going to get any of these <laughs> other restaurants. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So... Shout out Keith Lee. Shout man. out Keith Lee. Shout out Keith Lee. Yeah. <laughs> Shoot, I'm so out. The restaurant undertaker. <laughs> well, it's just like oh, when I was a kid, we were like... Red Lobster is. I've never oh, been to Red, Red Lobster. Red Lobster is the place where, like, Shoot. this is. We need to try pristine. so many places. Yeah, and then you get older, you're like, no, this is literally just a chain restaurant. It's okay. It's literally, I think it is the same level as Cheesecake, Cheesecake Factory. Factory. Like, it's like the Maybe same. Maybe lower. I feel like it's the same price point as Cheesecake Factory. Okay. I feel like Red Lobster is just a little better, though, because they have a niche. What's yeah, their niche? Yo, Re- Cheesecake Factory is trying to do too much. They have their menus way too big for what they're trying to do. Because don't they have like, like an Asian cuisine in oh, there? Yeah, they have Asian, Asian, they have burgers, Italian, they have chicken, they have American. Italian, they have everything. Red mm-hmm. lobsters, biscuits. And they don't do any of it really. Oh yeah, red lobsters, biscuits. I tr- it's uh, saving grace. Um, what's the cow? What's the biscuit? Like crab something, right? No, it's it's cheese, cheddar bay biscuits. Yeah, cheddar. Oh. They're yeah. like a flaky, cheesy, perfect. Oh. So now bundle of joy. We got to go to Tap House. We got to go to Red Lobster. Because <laughs> Cheesecake Factory. Yvonne has never been to any of these I've never, places. I've never been to Red Lobster either. You've never been to Red... You've been dating for how long and you never took her to Red Lobster? Dang. I'm a very particular seafood person. Yeah, though. she doesn't like seafood. So I, just, I like... I mean... We'll I just, just get her biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to love it. <laughs> You'll love it. I, can, yeah. I always take a bag of them home after I'm like, yeah, give me extra biscuits. Dang. 
Oh, for Thanksgiving this year, my mom's like, we're going to go get rolls from Texas Road, Roadhouse. We're going to order those. Oh, mm-hmm. those are so I'm good. If, if it wasn't so far Texas from my rolls. house, I'd be there. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think it's one of the best breads in the But it all depends restaurant. on who's making it. Because one time I went, it, it wasn't the same. She's talking Texas about Texas Roadhouse. Roadhouse. Oh, yeah. I'm trying to I think they're fine, but I'm taking Cheddar Bay Biscuits. I think they're really good, but I think the butter makes a difference. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Butter and if, when it's right hot. Yep. Mm-hmm. Now sure. we have to go to Texas Roadhouse. Just have at, you been? Yeah, I have. Well, been. We got to go to the place where Yvonne hasn't been. <laughs> Sorry. I haven't been to a lot of places. Which is a lot. <laughs> <laughs> We're finding out so many places. Yvonne, so you've never been to Texas Roadhouse. I've never been to Texas Roadhouse. She's lying. She was talking about how good the... Oh, yeah. Yeah. We have to go to Texas Roadhouse. Yeah. I hate Texas Roadhouse, actually. I think the bread's the only good thing I the thing I like. The chicken, the chicken critters. Yeah, the AKA chicken the critters chi- are... Chicken strips. They go so crazy. And the applesauce. And apple with the sauce. ranch? They have no. applesauce there. Are chicken there critters chicken strips? To- yes. Yeah. But Chili's it's actually really has good. the best chicken strips. I've never been to Chili's. Never been to Chili's. Never been to Chili's. Never been. <laughs> Maybe I have been to Chili's the once. The chicken strips. Are, I'm like, what are y'all putting in this? Sales like these are cultural people. Okay, can <laughs> well, we talk didn't about they close though? Down Chili's? People talk mm-hmm. about Applebee's margaritas though. Yeah, that's Applebee's drinks. About it, They're just I... strong and cheap, so it is a good combination. <laughs> yeah. So edit. I tipped. I insisted, but y'all made me feel like I should Venmo him, so <laughs> I did. And no, I didn't no. expect. Yeah, she Venmoed him. Absolutely. He not. decided to pay. Right. Yeah. And no, I didn't expect him to pay. I hesitated because it's the South. And if you're too eager to pay, often a man will feel like you don't like him at all. And it's a culture thing. <laughs> oh, okay. So okay. the restaurant is in the South. Okay. We're narrowing we're it down. Narrowing we're it narrowing it down. $500 <laughs> for two in the South. $50 margaritas and tacos. Okay. We're narrowing it down. Oh, yeah. Also, Super. I'm a marketer and he's a teacher. So the idea that I'm a gold digger is wild to me. <laughs> I could care digger. less about a man's income as long as he's educated, whether formal or not, driven and passionate. To be honest, my ideal date, maybe not first, but in general, is microdosing shrooms in a park, people oh watching, God. and eating various snack foods. Oh. Microdosing shrooms in a park. Okay. Well, just being that? high and people watching while you eat snack foods. <laughs> Okay. I actually do love people watching that. If someone I do love agreed people to watching. people watching with me as a first day, I would yeah. love that. But if you ask me my favorite restaurant while getting to know me, I'm going to tell you the truth. Yeah. I didn't just suggest the Mexican place, but also why was it solely my burden to decide where we went? Whatever. I learned from some of y'all and I can see how I may have just misread someone being awkward. I'd also still prefer to date someone who isn't oblivious to the fact that women are cautious with their personal info for a reason. Last edit, he bi- he picked up my card and stared at it. It wasn't just a glance. My username is just a Farouk Assault reference, and her username Farouk Assault is give me that I want it now. <laughs> Don't care how I want it now. Farouk Assault, guys. Nobody. Willy Wonka. <laughs> Willy Wonka, <laughs> Wonka, shout out Oompa. Shout out Oompa. I hope he's doing good. I hope he is doing good. That was from a past Oompa. episode. <laughs> <laughs> Way too many people have been. So we had Oompa on for one of the Halloween episodes, and he, I think he escaped the factory. Mm-hmm. Just and to he come was to just the telling episode. us about his life, yeah. and now he's basically like in slavery. I actually hear Wonka. him and Ice Spice actually like had like a little thing. Oh, but what? Yeah. I thought him wow. and Ice Spice and Bob had a thing. No, it was just Bob was kind of out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we can't forget Montgomery, too. Montgomery yeah, but there. nobody, they're not all having a thing. <laughs> yeah. Apparently, Ice Spice and Uber was, have Wasn't Montgomery supposed to go, like, help Uber? And Theresa. <laughs> they really hit it off. <laughs> Did Montgomery come help Montgomery Uber? Montgomery was interested, but they weren't no, interested. No, 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 no more oh. romance. <laughs> oh. <laughs> he was talking about helping you guys escape. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think he did try... Willy Wonka put a hit out on oh. Montgomery, so Montgomery's currently on the run. Dang. Montgomery's never given yeah. up. He's coming He's back. He's not going to give up, but he is actively <laughs> being pursued. Willy Wonka is a Willy Wonka is a monster, <laughs> wow. and he needs to be stopped. Too many people have seen this, and now I feel weird. Thanks for sharing with me all of your thoughts and perspectives, except username here, who hopes I live in regret and misery for the remainder of my time on Earth. <laughs> yeah, she put his username oh. and tagged she him. She added him? She tagged him. Dang. Dang. Click on Sarah and that deep to be wishing someone that. Um, she said, mm-hmm. she said, I hope you don't. I hope you find a happiness that will allow you to no longer desire to be hateful to strangers you Ooh. disagree with. Ooh. And then actually top comment here says, wouldn't Venmo him anything? And then yeah. somebody else said this, don't Venmo him. He chose to pay and was weird. 
I think the only questionable thing she did was blocking him without saying without anything. Without saying anything. Yeah. Everything else I'm totally fine with. And the only other questionable thing she did was not give the restaurant names. Yeah, that is. <laughs> she is a villain. Stop getting yeah. There's comments, like, where's the rest? Tell us. If you want us to be cultured. Yeah. You gotta tell us. Right. You want to keep them in business. You gotta tell us. Yeah, you gotta, you tell, gotta us. tell the internet. Right. Tell Keith Lee. Tell him to go tell check him Keith out. Tell Keith Lee. Keith Lee will <laughs> serve you right. So I tried this restaurant from Reddit. Let's rate it one through ten. I'm a regular person. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is that how he sounds? Yes. I want to be treated like everybody else. I'm normal. I'm a normal person. So when they said that I could eat for free now, I said, thank you. God bless you. And, and I my took family my wife are gonna have a good we day. <laughs> you have a good day. I love Keith Lee so much. Oh. That's going to be a 9.7. I got it. Let's try it. Let's rate it one through 10. As you can see, I don't have it. <laughs> Those are usually the restaurants. Yeah, my only and thing with Keith Lee is the ratings. Because if you go over all his videos, you're watching them like, what is the system he's using? Because it seems like. Because what is the eye roll? Is the eye roll 10? Is the eye roll 9? He says the same thing about the same thing, but it'd be like a 9.5 and this one's a 7.8. I'm like, why? You basically said the same thing about mm. that. You said these are the greatest fries you've ever had and you give it a 9.5. Why not a 10, Keith Lee? Those are the real questions. Should we What's not say this when like... we canceled if we say this? Okay. No, no. <laughs> Okay, so am I the asshole for breaking off my wedding because of my fiance's bachelor party? Depends on what he did. If he cheated, peace out. Breaking off my wedding because of fiance's bachelor party. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. are the asshole? No, no, you're not. Oh. I was just thinking about it. Yeah. Oh, okay. It seems like you can do that. Yeah. Me and my fiance have been together for two years. It was our wedding eve and I was having my bachelorette party and he was having his bachelor party. So my bachelorette party was just one little thing with some of my girlfriends and family at home. Or my fiance's bachelor party was at a bar with a huge party, which is perfectly fine with me. But halfway into my party, my friend runs up to me with a video of my fiance getting a lap dance from one of the girls there. And then she showed me the next videos. Those were on the Snapchat stories. The video was my fiance licking a mixed drink off of a girl's breast and another video of him making out with a girl and then another girl right after her. I was upset and confronted my fiance about it. When he had gotten home the day mm. of our wedding, he got all defensive and said, it's what guys do on their bachelor party nights. Nope. It's the last night we have of being single, babe. He was hungover and I was furious because I understand that you don't just go out making out with girls and licking drinks off their breasts. I just decided to try to forget it and go on with the wedding until he was in the shower and his phone kept going off. We do have a rule where we don't go through each other's phones unless there's a reason and we have to let each other know if we're going to go through them. I wasn't going to touch it, but it kept going off with people sending him photos on his phone from the night before, so I decided to take a look at the videos to see if I missed anything. It was photos of my fiancé in bed with two girls with no clothes on. I turned his phone off and went into the bathroom and told him the wedding is off. I needed time to process what had happened. He asked me why, and I said to look at your phone. He then changed the whole subject and went insane over the searching phones rule. I told him boyfriends don't fuck other girls just because it's their last night out as not a husband. He cussed me out and then begged me to keep the wedding on, and I walked out and said no. It's been two days now. His family is upset with me because I called off the wedding too soon and ruined their son's day. Everyone at my bachelorette party is on my side saying it's his fault and he needs to realize he's in the wrong. Should I talk to him about it and reschedule the wedding? <laughs> I do love him, but I'm not sure if it was a red flag that can lead to anything in the future with him. Am I the asshole? No. 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 What? This reminds me the last. Why is it always when I'm here? This like this kind of story. The last time I was here it was like the opposite. Bachelorette party. The fiance was at home while she was um, doing her thing. I think she, she, she was still logged into her computer he saw the videos that her friends were um, sending and it was that her getting oh, yeah. out of the room, like going into a room with a guy, getting out, and it's like the, I don't the time Why do I not remember half the I stories I really don't do. remember that story at all. Oh, That's yeah. a crazy story. story. Yeah, so, wow. No, but they're not the asshole. Wow. I think the thing that grosses me out about this whole like bachelor party is for me how normalized it is for men to cheat on their girlfriends the night before their wedding. And even the line that he said of, it's my last night of being single. You're not single. 
You've been dating me for four plus years. Mm -hmm. Your last night of being single was four plus years ago. Oh, mm -hmm. tell them, Maddie. So it, it's my last night of being single. No, mm -hmm. I know some people have different uh, like maybe rules about like like um, lap dances and mm -hmm. stuff. But mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not comfortable with lap dances, but I know women. Some women are. Mm -hmm. But even like licking off the breast, no, kissing other women, having that. sex with other women. Yeah, that's a you're big not one. single. Yeah, it like, that's probably yeah, the that's biggest a, one actually. <laughs> yeah. That one's kind of big. Yeah. Uh, I don't know it shows that. you don't respect the relationship. So you're yeah. not going to respect the relationship when you're married. Yeah. Because like marriage is just a contract. Nothing really physically changes. Like. Maybe you live together now. Maybe, you know, whatever. But, like, if you don't respect me now. Right. You're not going to respect me then. So. Because wow. for me, I think the line was the lap dance. Everything past that was. That's not what you're doing at bachelor parties. That's mm -hmm. that's you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're doing that. He's yeah. like, oh, yeah. All oh, guys, we always, like cheat on her <laughs> fiance the day before we get married like that's this is the thing guys do that's like no hey there's men right here that's not a thing that yeah. happens, supposed everybody to be everybody else didn't see yeah. that <laughs> yeah and i feel like he probably is doing this like when he goes on trips with the guys or like when she's not around right. he's probably cheating on you like there's no way you can go from nothing and then boop, to two women in the bed take videos bro but also yeah. bad friends why are you doing <laughs> any photo evidence of this stuff? <laughs> That's crazy yeah. that you're taking Snapchats of this. He says, don't keep evidence. Well, I don't know how, unless the other couple was like at the bachelorette party, the other half, how she saw it the first time. But they were they were being sloppy about it from the beginning. Well, I'm feeling like, yeah, like like it's a Snapchat? couple were split up. Like the girl was at the bachelorette party and the guy. Yeah. And, and she's yeah. like, look what. He's snapping. He's like. <laughs> Not thinking about anything. <laughs> his, his wife is like, mm -mm. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's like, oh, he's kissing her. Yeah, that's her boob. He's sucking yeah. on. It. That's crazy. She's sucking on him, her nipple. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah, that's like if you're gonna do dirt, do dirt the right way. Uh, I guess he yelled at her <laughs> and he got no, mad. Yeah, cussed at her. I 100 percent know he came up with the phone rule, which is probably he probably came with a. Hey, we should baby, probably is baby, we shouldn't be going through each other's phones. We gotta have trust. I am cheating on you actively <laughs> every why week. I came up I, with yeah, I came. That sounds like a rule he came up with, and of course he's gonna get mad about it. That's the thing that's so tough though with um, cheating is, I know if I were to be cheated on, and me and Brandon have discussed this, we're both like we couldn't be together after that because mm -hmm. of the trust issues. Mm -hmm. But even seeing people who have been cheated on, it's like, and then it's like they stay with the person. Yeah. Yeah. It's like so heartbreaking because it's like, I know you care about this person so much, but they don't respect you as a person mm -hmm. because they would never cheat on you in the first place. And I even heard, and I kind of agree with this sentiment, if you're the one cheating, there's something wrong with you. It's not there's something wrong with your partner because mm -hmm. there's something wrong with you that you're not satisfied with your partner. Yeah. yeah. And that's why you're looking for somebody else. Yeah. Because then just break up with your partner. Yeah, because you can be with honest them. with them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, full transparency, I was cheated on. I was like, she's like, I cheated on several <laughs> No, <people."> I've <laughs> never been cheated yeah. on. N never cheated on someone. Good I've for been you. Applause. It's That's applause. Oh, thank you. Like, decency. <laughs> <laughs> decency. <laughs> Girls. Um, oh, switching oh. it up. Switching it up. Oh, wow. Okay, that made me feel good. We're changing those sound effects. All right. <laughs> Woo, the pressure's off. <laughs> but, um, yeah, but, like, in that relationship, I didn't know until I knew. But then I ended up, like, he was <laughs> too dumb the whole time. So it's then, like, what is the point of, like, getting in a relationship when you want to be act single? Yeah. You know? A hundred percent. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And, like, I think with that, it was that, like, the... This is the hard part of like this is the person. Also, this guy was like a manipulator and a narcissistic, like mm. blah blah blah. Um, but like the part where like you've showed me and I see the good part of you, so then you know like you can you trick me into like thinking it's not gonna be the same, blah blah blah. Or you don't want to give up because like well he's still a good guy in a sense, but then you don't want to accept you the made reality. a mistake. Yeah, you don't want to accept the reality. And there was also a lot of gaslighting. Yeah. But, um, so. Well, that's the thing, because I feel like there's very few, like, actual evil people out here. There's yeah, this There's not a lot of people who are, like, evil. But there are people who are, because of their insecurities of traumas they've had, 
their things they're going to do are going to hurt other people. Mm -hmm. They may not be intentionally like, I'm going to be bad to you, but just by how they are and how they've been affected, they are going to hurt other people. You should get out of it. Yeah. They can still be a good person, but you're not going to be good for me. Yeah. So I need to. Bye. But I feel like it's it's easier said than done, right? Oh, yeah. Like now thinking about it, I'm like I the perspective of like, if I'm what were you doing? Like now I'm like, logically get out, you know, leave it. But then like when there's the emotional aspect and. But it was one of your first relationships, right? One of, yeah, one of, yeah, yeah. You don't learn, yeah. yeah you learn as things you go. Learn now over time. I have, yeah. yeah. And that's just happens. You're like, I'm gonna deal with things that I didn't know I probably shouldn't be dealing with because I did. I was too young and naive. Mm -hmm. Naive. Mm -mm. So that's what makes me worry, though. Is she's she's at that place right now. She's like, I don't know. Like, should I go back to him? Did I leave too soon? Because she's having all these people be like. I mean, that whole family's toxic. I think she made the right decision to walk out because her whole the whole family is supporting. You ruined his day. Husband, we all husband. slept with someone before we got married. The <laughs> what do you mean? Like, the night before. Yeah. You, are you saying it happened on the night before? Wait, of course, right? This is tradition. Yeah. Yeah. Get out, son. <laughs> Was it here where we talked about how um, the guy, the dad had to check that the girl was still a virgin? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that why do I remember? That one was disturbing. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. that's what just that one seemed of. very religious. Yeah. Yeah. But like it very happens. Amish. It's a part of the culture. That yeah. don't bring out the Amish like that. <laughs> I feel like that's Amish to be like my Amish. dad needs to check to make sure. You're I don't a think that's an Amish thing. They just don't like technology. Now you make it. Amish slander. Listen, I've seen the Amish show on AM. Okay. I've seen that show on. I've also seen Amish mafia. Is Wait, there what? Amish Mafia? I think. <laughs> yeah, I think. Maddie is making up so many things. <laughs> I'm not, I don't think I'm making it up. Amish Mafia. I'll, I'll bet you $2 right now. No. I don't you know even carry cash. <laughs> Absolutely not. Amish Mafia. Okay, we should watch it. On Three out of ten. <laughs> Three out of ten? That's crazy. Four seasons. <laughs> Dang, they just were bad for. I want to watch long. an episode. That's what we should do. Okay, we'll get food from one of the places. We'll go to Red Lobster, pick up Red Lobster. We're gonna, we have back, to create a commentary watch. channel. Yeah. Yeah. So we just review shows. And watch Amish Mafia. Yeah, that was because we've been thinking about this. That's we're reviewing smart. shows, so now we got to do with each guest. We'll figure out what show we'll review a show on. We'll go yeah. get food, and then we'll be like, okay, we're watching Amish Mafia. Well, here's for the uh, Big Brother Minute. Big Brother just ended. Oh, oh yeah! Oh my God! I wrote, you're obsessed with that I show. I love the show. Same. By the time this comes out, it's gonna be in November. Oh, like well, end people of are still talking about it because it's that big. Jag okay. won. Jag did win. I honestly wasn't sure who was gonna win between him and Matt. Well, if you watch it, I think Matt actually had a really good shot. Matt bombed the question. Oh really? His questions were just like elevating Jag. Mm -hmm. Like they were just building Jag up, and Jag was like. <laughs> I did this, I did this. But then Jag almost lost it in the final speech because he was so aggressive. I was the mastermind and I did it. And I was like... My mom said that too. Yeah, and I was like, this is one of the weirdest... I feel like he literally almost lost it. But because the jury weren't like that emotional kind of people, if it wasn't emotional, he would have lost it right there. Because I'm like, you were acting like a jerk. They don't have to give you this money. They can vote for the other guy. I did this. I'm the guy. I'm like... Who's, Chill, bro. Who's a who jury? Do you think you are? Like just regular people? People who get voted out before them. Oh. So, so they were on the show too. Yeah, they were on the show too. So like they're people that he you like you manipulate, you lie to these people to get them out. Mm -hmm. So you also have to balance their ego. You're like, Well, I got you out, but like I really I like you, mm -hmm. or like you I got you friends. out because I was scared of you. You do stuff like that. You don't like talk down to them yeah. when they're voting on if you should get seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars. And then Cameron run the America's favorite house guest. That's kind of wild to me, but yeah, that's I when like you know that, that I wanted Sari to win. The social media aspect of Big Brother is much smaller than what people like. People don't realize that people only a large when people, you're on Twitter. Of yeah, watch the edited yeah version. people only watch the show and they have no idea of what's going on. They basically edited this guy Cameron like a really good light, but he was also like kind of creepy towards younger women in the house yeah like there was one girl who he was like you're my daughter but he was also like flirting he's like she's really pretty like yeah. i would like i think she's into me like it was like very he's weird getting like very that. trump and <laughs> well he has 
way more hair than Trump. <laughs> he had a good edit on the show because he he was oh, like the only one going against things. Yeah. So he did have a good edit. And he was like a fun villain edit. Yeah. 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 He wasn't really the best person. So I'm sad that he that he won that. And that's the Big Brother Minute. Yes. And that's the end of this episode. Wait, that's the end of the show? Yeah. Are we done? Mm-hmm. Well, happy mm-hmm. Thanksgiving, everybody. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, I'm going to go eat some turkey and... I'm going to eat some Well, ham. actually... Is this before or after No, dark meat turkey. Dark this meat is really? probably going to come out I don't even know if Tuesday my family's going to turkey. I don't even have a Thanksgiving. I think this comes out the Tuesday before. The Tuesday before. Yeah, or maybe that Saturday. Anyway. So either enjoy your turkey or eat leftovers. Yep. Mm-hmm. Either or eat some turkey. Yvonne's going to try dark meat out this year. Or so I'm ham. excited for that. Your sure. ham? No. Or what are some vegetarian like alternatives? No ham. Green bean casserole? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Green bean casserole. Mac and cheese, baby. Mac and oh, yes. Gotta love me some yams. 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 Can I get to the yams? Sweet yams. Show me the way. I did see an ad for Charlie Wilson's yams. They're like, Who's Thanksgiving's coming up, and it's like Charlie Charlie Wilson's version of the yams. And I was like, Oh, Charlie Wilson is a dog. Brain wasn't he's, functioning. Yeah, he's a singer. Yeah, yeah. we have his music. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I have his music on my phone. <laughs> <laughs> I listen to him all the time. <laughs> all right, well, happy holidays, guys. Happy holidays. Happy, happy Thanksgiving, holidays. Turkey. Gobble, 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 gobble. Okay, so let's do our outro in turkey. Okay. Gobble, 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 gobble,